Hey guys, Dr. Ambat Prime 2.0 here and or know if you know me very well. And as this video, and as you clicked on this video, this is my top 10 Batmobiles that Batman has driven. Because to, to honor the 80 years of Batman, this is a video that I'm doing just for that. And, well, just to let you all know, these are basically, this is basically my top 10. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion and list of Batmobiles. So, I mean, your favorite could be this one, your favorite could be that one, and the, this one could be your five favorites, this one could be your ten favorites, but this is just my list, in my opinion. But I really hope you like this list, and, well, let's just sit down and enjoy the show. Starting at number ten, we have the Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. Now, this Batmobile, well, if you're in any way of a diehard fan of Batman the Animated Series, me being one of them, now, I mean, this is the Batmobile that we first see, like, not only, like, in the show, if, in, like, several episodes here and there, but it's also part of the intro, and it's one of the reasons that, well, the intro is good, and it does have a 90s vibe, so it's also what gave us, like, it's also the Batmobile that gave us, like, well, well, uh, well uh, Kilmer's, Keaton's, and uh, Clooney's. Now at number 9, we have the new Batman Adventures Batmobile. Now this is like the Batmobile that's like a continuing story of Batman the Animated Series, but started getting, well, revamped and different here and there. Like all the characters got different looks and different costumes, and some new characters were added in here and there, and that was when the Batmobile got an upgrade, and that was when we got like a darker toned Batmobile that we all know and love, and... I just really like how, in a way, it's not just an all-out black one, but in a way, it just almost looks like it's a lot more cooler, better, and kind of a better look than the animated series version. No offense if the uh, animated series is your favorite. Slying in at number 8 is the 1966, aka Adam West. This is in, like the classiest Batmobile ever, because I mean... Other than it's black and red, which I'm a sucker for. I just really like how this is a Batmobile that we would always see Adam West drive in. And it's just really cool and awesome. And just really gives us that really classy and campy look. Now at number 7, we have the Tank Mobile from The Dark Knight Returns. This one's just a big one. Because, I mean, sure, some of you are going to say, why are you putting this one on your list? It's a tank. It's not really a Batmobile. Well, it is a Batmobile to Batman because, I mean, well, that's like the closest thing that we got to a Batmobile. Plus, The Dark Knight Returns is literally my favorite Batman comic. And this and the Bat Tank is just, well, it's just really awesome. I just really like how it stole part of the comics. And in a way, I mean, it does have a million guns. And Batman has been shooting down a lot of mutants. But don't worry, they're rubber bullets, so he didn't really kill them. So it's just a really good type of a Batmobile and different take on, like, the Batmobile itself, even though it's a tank. Slying in at number 6, we have the new 52 Batmobile. This one just looks slim. It looks like a Lamborghini. It just really has that really stealth look. Yes, I know Batman would use uh, several different uh, Batmobiles, uh, from like pop culture and that we've seen in past Batman movies and comics. But there's only one that stands out in front of all of them when it comes to New 52. Yeah, I mean, come on. If you're a fan of the New 52 Batman comics, me being one of them, then this is one that has to be somewhere in your top 10. Because I mean, I mean, it's full of guns, gadgets, and mm, I just enjoy seeing Batman drive around in, in a very badass way. Halfway at number 5 is the Arkham Knight Batmobile. If you've played the Batman Arkham Knight video game, you would know that this uh, this version of Batmobile, you know, it plays a massive role in the game. I mean, it has guns, it has, well, well so many different type of rocket launchers, and can detect other vehicles. It's just one of those cool, like, if, I, if it was real, I would want to drive it kind of a thing. Plus, I mean, it's a video game car, so if you're if you're much so if you're a gamer, then this is one that you have to well have somewhere in your list. And plus, I mean, I just love driving and 
the, the Batmobile, well, this version in the Batman Arkham Knight video game because it was just one of my favorite parts of the game. Next at number four is Christopher Nolan's Tumblr. Now, I know most of you are going to say, really, this one? Well, that's because this one's basically, it's like a tank, and I really like how it gives birth to the bat, to the bat pod in the, well, in the Dark Knight trilogy. It's full of lots of guns. I mean, sure, in real life, it might be really slow, but I just really love how huge it is, and it's just, it's just really awesome and cool. And yes, of course, it was in a camouflaged color. But Christian Bale Batman ends up being like, Does it come in black? You say it, Bale, and if I get one, I want it in black as well. Hitting the top three, we have the Gliding Bat from Batman Beyond. I know most of you are going to say, I mean, isn't this more of like a jet? And am I kind of cheating? Well, kind of yes, but that's just because other than I'm a fan of Batman Beyond, the, well, what this version just knows is basically, well, from the future. I mean, Batman Beyond is all about, like, futuristic things, and they're always having, like, flying cars, different outfits, and this, uh, and the glider is basically just, it's just one of the things that's combined with, like, well, a bat, uh, well, a Batmobile, and, uh, well, Batwing. I mean, sure, again, might be cheating, but it's just really fun, really cool, and it's just a fan favorite that everyone loves and enjoys, and I love and enjoy. Next on the list is 1989, aka Michael Keaton's Batmobile. I'll admit, another one of the classiest Batmobiles ever made. I mean, when I first watched the 1989 Batman movie, this version of the Batmobile was just all around fun, cool. I mean, it's just, well, it's the reason that, that on how most of our Batmobiles got this look. And I just really like how, like, it's full of weapons and has, like, a crazy shielding thing. Even though they probably had to do some remodeling or CGI on that part with the shielding part. It was just all around really good and just really fun. Finally, hitting number one at top spot is Batflex Batmobile. You all know I'm a diehard Ben Affleck Batman fan, and... This uh, Batmobile is literally one of my favorites because, I mean, I mean, it was just one of the best parts of Batman vs. Superman. It just, you know, well, knows how to, in a way, be like, in a way, it's like a combination of the Tumblr and the, well, and the Batman Arkham Knight, to, um, well, you know, Batmobile. It just knows how to bring those two together and just, you know, in a way, you have turned out to be like, a different version, a different Batmobile that's like full of guns, full of things, like plays fun parts in the movies. Plus, we've seen this in Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, and got a major upgrade in Justice League. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Plus, I mean, it's just really cool, really awesome, and I just really like the design and everything. I mean, props to Zack Snyder and the creators of this version of the Batmobile. Now, here are some honorable mentions that I'd like to add in. As for honorable mentions, those go to the Arkham Asylum Batmobile, the Lamborghini slash 2004 The Batman Cartoon Batmobile, the 1941 very classic one, and last one is Val Kilmer's Batmobile. Those are basically my honorable mentions. So, let me, so that's basically it. There's not much I could talk about about the Batmobiles, but I really hope you like my list. Let me know what your top five, top ten, however many in the comments down below, and well, let, don't forget to also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the bell to so notified whenever I upload a video. Hit the thumbs up so well I know you like or love this video, and well comment below and tell me what you thought about this video or think about Batmobiles or Batman period. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Cosplay Mino. That's all my social media names. And till next time guys, this is Dr. Ambat Prime 2.0 signing off and well, let's continue with being Batman.